Welcome to the Teacher Zone with Chris and Tyler. I'm Tyler Maroff, and I'm here with Chris Bates. What do we got going on, sir? Well, today we're going to talk about our new ebook. So if you haven't downloaded it, it's called From Chaos to Culture. And so you can go to teacherzone.com. There, Tyler has it. You can actually print it out. And um, we're going to today just do a quick overview of what we'll cover in the book. And so it's a five-part series. Tyler, what's the first part that we start with? The first part is stage one, the five stages we must grow through. And by the way, that's at teacherzone.com slash chaos is where you'll find the free ebook. It's it's awesome. So this is what we're going off today. So stage one, is it? are we in chaos? Do we know or not? And it says you can't avoid it or go around it. But there are things you can do to get out of it. So our first podcast episode will be about that stage of the ebook. What's number two? Number two. So it starts with in chaos, right? Because that's where we all start our businesses. Or if you've been in business a long time, you might still have some of that bleeding in. And then we get into step two, which we call getting organized. And so in getting organized, you know, it takes a little time. But once you get organized... We're trying to give you back your sanity. And so for those of you that know about herding cats and running around like with your hair on fire, you know, we're all fellow entrepreneurs. We all get it. Yep. But getting organized stage two is a great. So you start with in chaos, right. then you go into getting organized. And then once you get past stage one and two, then you actually have a business. What's stage three, Ty? So stage three, engaging students. So this is where the lights come on. And you remember why you started teaching in the first place. So the whole why is there. You've got the customers, you have the bills, you've got hopefully some systems, maybe you need some. And so you're you're in chaos. Then you go to getting organized. Then you start really engaging the students and, and, and you're on your way to that culture part. Well, but, but, and, and it's, it's important to, for some of you out there, I know it's easy to feel this way. Do you feel sometimes right now, like you don't even remember why you got into doing what you do? Because if you're in the lesson business, right, you're clearly passionate, passionate about whatever it is you teach. Right. And so, but chaos can really drive you that first stage can really drive you to feeling frenetic and running running around with your hair on fire stage two will help you start to come out of it and then stage three is a re-emergence of why you began and then once you you go ahead it's a cycle like yes and by the way here's another spoiler alert it's Mm -hmm. always a cycle but we Mm -hmm. just need to oil the machine and that's what this series is about you're gonna love it so we got Number one, in chaos. Number two, getting organized. Number three, engaging students. And Chris, jump into number four. So number four really is about creating a growth engine. We call it fueling growth. And so the big thing that we get lost in, a lot of us, is you know we're so caught up in the operations or in trying to make what we're doing better that we forget about the fact that we actually have to keep the engine going. And so fueling growth is really about creating that marketing engine, creating that sales machine where you don't have to wake up and stress about getting new students for your operation. They're just literally coming in like clockwork. And that allows you to get to the finish line. So what's stage five, Ty? So stage five, after stage one is in chaos, whether we are or not. Stage two is getting organized. Stage three is engaging students. Stage four is fueling that growth. So there is an engine there now. Super fun part, love that part. Mm -hmm. To stage five, which is the coup de grace for me. It's my favorite thing to do to know that we're building a culture is stage five. So lives are being changed, a community is being built and people can't wait to be a part of what you're doing. And remember, building that culture, the way we like to look at it, we feel like we're the hero at first when we're taking this undertaking and making something out of nothing. And you know what? We are. We, I'm going to throw it out there. We are. But once the culture starts to build, pretty much when you get your first 10 students or whatever, they're the heroes, not us. And so that we'll get into that as well in building the culture. So Chris, just rehash those culture, five in a row. Yeah, 
And I love that. So the, the, the culture is, as you said, the coup de grace, the top of the pinnacle, it's with the biggest companies in the world. If you look at like the ones we love, like Disney or Apple, they're obsessed with number five. But mm-hmm. to get to number five, you have to go through chaos. You have you to get You can't obsess on it. You can't no. obsess on it. If there's no if, time to obsess on it. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, if you're wanting to make a great meal and you don't have any food or you don't have a kitchen or you don't have it, right? You got to put all those elements into place. Now you can worry about being a great chef or making a great meal. Well, culture Precisely. would be the ability to do so. So you've got to put the other elements. Chaos. Um, getting through it getting yourself organized, then focusing on engaging, right? Which is both for your students and your entire community. So parents, teachers, employees, admins, yeah, your, your entire staff Get into that. and your team, right? Because for a lot of you, you've got a marketing team and you've got other folks that make, you know, your accountants and, and it takes a village to do what we do. And then fueling growth is basically the realization that you must create a consistent machine or all those lives that you feed and that we're impacting with our businesses will be more stressed. And then lastly, you can get to the fun, which is building a culture, just like Disney, Apple, and some of the greatest brands and companies that we all adore. Absolutely. So that's it. That's the five yeah, stages. So- teacherzone.com slash chaos. Download the ebook so you're ready for the episodes that are coming your way. Full podcast episodes from stages one, two, three, four, and five. So stay tuned. Chris, thanks, man. 